Hi, this is Satish and uh, today we discuss about stack using linked list and this is a continuation of the previous video stack using linked list in which we have discussed about push operation and in this video we are dealing with pop operation and as well as we will discuss about the program how to write a stack using linked list program so what is a pop operation a pop in a pop operation we delete a node from the stack right so how a deletion occurs in stack we already know that in stack uh, at the top and push and pop operations are done that is ins insertion is done done at top end and deletion is also done at top end. as example we have three nodes 10 20 30 first element which is inserted is here 10 second element is inserted is 20 and third element which is inserted is here is 30 so how are you saying this because insertion is done at which end at top end so top is referring to 30 uh, referring to this node in which we have 30 so this is the last element which is inserted so whatever the element which is inserted last has to be deleted first that is the reason why we say stack as last in first out so before deleting a node from stack what we do is we take a variable temp which is referring to the last node that is top so what we say is here is temp is equal to top now so after deleting what happens actually suppose when you delete this node you ha you have how many nodes left two nodes now now your top has to refer which node it has to refer the previous node that is 20 so how do you refer so before doing this we once check what is there in temp or top so in when we are saying a top top has what top data and as well as top next <coughs> so as we said this has temp now so that becomes what temp data temp next so when you check the value in next that is what you have here 3000 so 3000 is referring home it is referring to the previous node that is 20 now we want this as top so as we want this as top what we do is we say top is equal to temp next we say as top is equal to temp next so when you say top is equal to temp next now this top is referring who top is referring 3000 so now you see here top is referring what 3000 now what about this temp now we have to delete it so to delete we use delete temp so before you have 30 20 10 and after deleting now you have 20 and 10 and top is referring 20 2000 right so this is what happens in pop operation this is the algorithm for the pop operation so what we do is first we need to create a temp variable see we create a temp and next we have to check whether top is null or not why to check top is null or not if top is equal to null what does it mean that means your stack is empty so that's the reason why we check whether stack is empty or not so we check whether it is empty or not if it is empty then we just display stack as empty and stop suppose it is not empty then what you have to do so this is what we done here temp is equal to top so we we have say suppose if it is not empty then we initialize or we initialize temp to assign temp to top and in step 5 what we do is we write top is equal to temp next so that top moves to your whenever you say top is equal to temp next it moves to the previous node that is 20 so next step 6 you have to display the value which is there in your temp so temp data is on 30 and in step 7 you delete temp and step 8 stop so this is what algorithm for your pop operation coming to the code whatever you have written the algorithm the same thing you have to write so first initialize or create a new node temp here struct node start temp and check whether it is null or not if it is null see out stack is empty else then you assign temp to top temp is equal to top top to temp temp is equal to top and top is equal to temp next and write see out display this one popped element is temp data and delete temp now 
now this is to display the elements which are there in stack so while you display the elements in stack it will display you in reverse order in this is the program for displaying the stack elements so now what we do is we take a ptr and we assign it to the top right because insertion starts at what at top end and last element will have what top so top so now we check whether top is null uh, ptr is null or not suppose if ptr is equal to null then there is no element to show at all that's why we will check whether ptr is not equal to null or not so ptr is equal to what 4000 now we have assigned to this so 4000 4000 not equal to null true or false true so it is true we have to uh, display the value which is there in 4000 so ptr1 data ptr1 data is what 30 and next it has to move to this second element so to move to this we need this address this address is already there in this particular uh, node so this node is now what what you are saying is known as ptr so ptr1 next so that's why you assign ptr1 next to, to ptr1 so in that way it moves to the next element Again, as this is while loop, again it goes to here and it checks PTR1 not equal to null. What is PTR1 now? PTR1 is 3000. So it is not equal to null, true. And now it moves here. PTR, uh, it's true, so it PTR1 data. So PTR1 data is what? 20. And next PTR1 next. So PTR1 next is what? 2000. So it moves here. So again it goes back here. PTR1 not equal to null. What is PTR1 not equal to PTR1? 2000. Yes, it is not equal to null. So PTR1 data. So it displays 10. Next PTR1 is equal to PTR next. So PTR1 next is what? Null. So it goes back here. PTR1 not equal to null. Null not equal to null. True or false? False. So it come out, comes out of the show function. So this is what? Display. So we'll just look after the program which is written in your C++. So we need a, we need a node structure. So this is the node structure what we have said and next this is for creating the class in which we have top and also we have written a constructor where it is initializing top to null and then we have operations like push pop and show. So this is what your class stack and this is structure and next this is push operation. So you are going for an element and next you are creating a new uh, node ptr ptr data is equal to value and ptr next is equal to null you are creating it if top is not equal to null that means it is the first one so ptr next should be top and top is equal to ptr right and coming to the pop operation whatever you have written there same stop struct node start temp if top equal to equal to null then stack is empty else you have to assign top and top equal temp next and delete it and next this is show and this is the main function in the main function we are writing it as a uh, menu driven so whenever we are saying it is a menu driven then you have to write in switch so everything should be inserted in the while loop while of one one is true every time it is true if it is something else then what you are saying if what i saying if case 4 is what case 4 is exit so in case 4 what you are writing return 0 so it exists exit out of the function right so this is the program which we have written same whatever we have discussed now let us compile this and execute so this is what stack using linked list so what is your choice for example choice is one so push operation enter a number to insert so 10 so new item is inserted into the stack and now uh, what do you want let us display it so display is what 3 so what you have there 10 and this is what we have written outside that's it and next we want to again push 1 push your operation enter a number to insert so 20 as a 20 so how or when you display what it should come it should come 10 20 or 20 10 let's check so display it is 2010. Why it is 2010? Because 20 is the top end. It starts from the top end only. So 2010. 
so for example, example I want again to insert so insert element is 30 right again display it so it will be 30 20 10 now I want to pop pop is 2 so there is no need of asking which element to be popped because in stack pop will occur at top end so what is the top here 30 here that's why popped operation is what here 30 shall we uh, display now so when it is display when you are going to display it should come what 20 10 9 uh, 3 is the display see here answer is what 20 10 9 and 4 is to exit so 4 so check process exited right this is the program for stacks using linked list thank you so much for more videos please visit my channel thank you so much